Hey guys, October 15th, had a really big cold front blow through. I am going to do some speed scouting. So two, two and a half hours. I'm a lot of breath, cause I'm booking it up this hill. But uh, there's a cut at the top, about seven years old. Let's see if we see any sign up there. Big scrape right here. This little opening at the top. I mean, this could be a really good spot for a camera, but it is really tight to where I think people would walk through. So I'm gonna kind of ease out of here. See if I can't find a more secluded one. I think they're bedded out this way, anyways. There's another scrape right here. So this came out of that cut real thick. I think they're coming out at a bunch of different places up to this head, so. We're gonna poke around on the stop in this opening. It's risky from a camera getting stolen standpoint, but oh, there goes it again. A door fog right there. Looks like a pond. So we just found a giant inventory screen. Took the camera back there, but this road is definitely getting used. It's gated. I assume. Um, the park service is coming up. There's like an old shooting range up here. So if anything, we're just gonna use this for inventory. Hopefully get a big buck on it and then we'll play off of that to try to hunt them. Boy, some days just feel like killing days. And this is one of them. You might be able to hear the rain on the blind right now. I just ran out to a, one of the muddies um, on a plot we call it East Twin. I actually killed Fuzzy Wuzzy out of this blind a couple of years ago. It's a velvet deer, second day season. I originally had plans to hunt um, another deer on, a, on another piece of, of permission tonight. And uh, it, I didn't have a real good beat on him or anything, but about 2.30 today, we had a deer. Uh, I'm gonna say he's seven or eight, seven or eight year old buck we call Lebrowski. He's got these big giant brow tines. Showed up on a on a scrape here where they tend to kind of come in and out of this property. And my uncle's here today too, and he just hung a, a stand uh, in a spot we've been looking at, kind of on a like a, like a sister ditch, you know. And so it's like almost this buck is gonna go one of two ways. He's gonna either pop up and hit this plot and you know, doze around here for a bit, or he's gonna dump the other way, or both. I, you know, I don't know. I've seen him do that before. So, he's not a giant high scoring deer. He, you know, he's, he's like, like I said, like a, if he's, a, if he's 130, I'll, I'll be surprised. But he's a big friend, he's six point, and he's old, and we got history with him. And I'd be proud to wrap my tag on this deer. And uh, it's cool to just put a plan together too. You know, Dale and I hit him and all about what, what to do all day long. And um, I think we got a pretty good crack at, at seeing this deer here tonight. So it should be a fun set. We're going to see deer, that's for sure. We'll see how it goes. I think they're bedding right there. 
to bend right off that ditch. Walked right out across the far edge of that food plot. Didn't look like they were going to spend any time here, really. There's no does in the plot or anything. <sighs> they just walked across there and they're getting ready to kind of leave the plot over there. I thought, what the heck, you know? I'll throw a little snort wheeze at them. But that's good information. I mean, that's twice now. I'm catching them coming out of the same spot there. That's the way it goes, I guess. It's cool to see them. I would guess that's probably going to be it for tonight. But uh, we're going to wrap it up here. It's taking me. Oh.